In this video, we will complete an RFP. We'll begin at the Supply Portal and then move to the Property Management homepage. Under Account Reminders, you will see that I have an RFP in new status. To complete the RFP, we'll select Yes, where it asks if we'd like to participate. Step 1 of the RFP allows you to read the account documents and select the rates that will be offered to the account. If you have not read them already, you can read the account documents by clicking on the link. Once this is done, check the box indicating that you have read the account documents. In the Select Rate Plan section, you may have the option to select from a list of negotiated rate plans or the negotiated rate plan may be pre-selected for you. This is based on the requirements that have been set up by your chain or RFP administrator. Please note, if you are at step one of the bid and this section is grayed out, you will need to contact your system administrator or review your rate plans to complete all necessary steps. If you attempt to view the rate plan details before reading the account documents, this pop-up window will remind you. A link labeled Show Rate Details will display for a rate plan that has already been completed. A link labeled Add My Rates for this rate plan will display for rate plans that have not been completed. Please note, if your chain RFP administrator requires that all rate plans be completed or approved before you can complete the RFP, you will not be able to proceed until you have completed or approved the rate plan. To view and or add the rates, click on the link Show Rate Details. If the negotiated rate plan was completed beforehand, all of the rate details will display. Review the information that is listed and make adjustments as needed. If you have not completed the rate plan, when you click Add or Update My Rates, you will be able to enter the required information. If the rate plan was not completed, you will need to add the information. Please note that the ability to adjust the information is provided by your chain or RFP administrator. To proceed, click the flag This Rate Plan is Approved and Save Changes. Please note you may not have the option to flag the rate plan as, as approved. This is based on your chain's processes. Step 2 of the RFP allows you to complete and verify the RFP. This step contains all of the RFP questions. Click the next button to proceed to step 2. Okay, so next you will be watching a video on how to perform the second step for completing a bid in Lanyon. It's easy, you'll see. When you're ready to start the video... The filter can be used to see all of the questions, mandatory questions, or blank mandatory questions.
There is also an option to view the information by page and by module. The fields will be pre-populated with data that is in your Property Profile section. You will have the option to review, answer, and make updates to the fields. Please note, your chain or RFP administrator may respond to some of the fields on your behalf and may list them as read-only. To add blackout dates, click on the Add Edit Blackout Dates link. The Verify button will set your bid to a verified status. Click on the Next button at the bottom of the screen. By doing this, you will also set your bid to a verified status and move to the next step of the RFP. The Reload button will delete any information that you have added to the RFP. The View Help document will display the field mapping for the RFP. You can also click on the question mark next to any of the questions for a detailed explanation. If changes are made on any page, please click Save Changes at the top of the screen. When you are done, click on the Next button to continue. Please note that if you did not respond to a mandatory question, you will not be able to proceed. You will be advised which question or questions need to be completed before you can continue to Step 3. To complete a bid, among other things, you must provide answers to all mandatory questions. Is this true or false? Moving on, you will now be watching a video on how to perform the third and final step. Step 3 of the RFP provides you with a summary of the RFP. The rate information will display as well as the questions and the responses. If the data is correct, check the box for I have reviewed the bid, its terms and conditions, and approve it for submission. And then click Complete Bid. Based on your chain's processes, you may be able to approve or submit the RFP. Select the appropriate option based on the guidelines provided by your chain. Completed RFPs will no longer display on the home page. They will all be located in the RFP Summary section. This concludes the training session on completing an RFP.